This is Paolo Freire. He's a prominent educational thinker, first recognized as developing adult literacy programs in his home country of Brazil. He has since become well known for his critical approaches to education. Quote, Education either functions as an instrument which is used to facilitate integration of the younger generation into the logic of the present system and brings about conformity, or it becomes the practice of freedom, the means by which men and women deal critically and creatively with reality and discover how to participate in the transformation of their world. Freire developed his educational theories while working with poor workers in Brazil to improve their literacy. In doing so, he developed a technique based on his own educational philosophy, seeking a harmony between teaching and learning and the ideals of freedom. Freire didn't like what he called the banking model of education, which is a way of teaching where the oppressor is in charge of the people who are being oppressed. In the banking concept of education, those who think they know a lot are supposed to give those who they think know nothing a gift of knowledge. For example, this is shown by a curriculum that tells teachers what to do and makes sure they do it. Or, we see this when teachers view students as passive recipients of information from a test and they have to memorize it and repeat it. In response, Freire proposes a problem-posing education as an alternative to the banking model. Problem-posing education has three main considerations. First, praxis. It's the way of education that is based on and shaped by values. Second, there's the importance of dialogue, where students and teachers talk to each other in a way that is meaningful and based on mutual respect. Third, the significance of learners and teachers developing conscientization, which empowers both to change the world for reasons of freedom and justice. First, let's consider praxis. For Freire, this means that we need to do more than just criticize oppression. His idea of praxis doesn't include action just on its own. Instead, Freire thought that teachers need to practice what they preach, and that this action should be filled with reflection and theory. Second, dialogue is the shared idea of what it means to learn. It's based on respect between the teacher and the student, on having the same values, and on the need to act and change the world. For Freire, quote, the teacher is no longer merely the one who teaches, but the one who is himself or herself taught in dialogue with the students, who in turn, while being taught, also teaches. Third, conscientization is what Freire called the process by which students and teachers become more aware of themselves and their world, which leads to specific decisions about teaching and learning. This describes a process in which learners and teachers develop a critical understanding of their lives by reflecting on and acting on what they see. Let's consider the following example of problem-posing education. The teacher's role is to pose problems to the learner about things as it relates to their lives. For example, this might mean that a younger student will recognize pictures of toys that they would have at home. Now, both the student and the teacher have a dialogue about how these toys are meaningful in their lives. During this conversation, the student keeps using certain words from their own lives. And the words that come up in the conversation become the building blocks for learning and teaching how to read. So problem-posing education is centered upon creativity, encouraging reflection and action to transform the world. In this case, the student is not a docile listener. They develop literacy in creative new ways, such as expressing it through art. They have become a critical co-investigator in dialogue with the teacher, enacting literacy into their own life. I hope you enjoy this short summary of Paolo Freire and his critical pedagogy. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.